Hello, Dinchon people. In this video, we stay in the yurt. It's not our first time we stay in the yurt. You could check the previous videos from Big National Park and Jakartia National Park where we stayed in the yurt, which belonged to Sepak. But this one, this is huge upgrade compared to what we had in Sepak. Let's check it out. As you can see, we have here full-sized fridge. Also, there is a big gas stove. Little nice kitchenette area, which has everything needed for your stay. They provide water in those plastic bottles, more than enough. On the right side of this kitchenette, there is a door and it is... This is a compost toilet. It's a huge upgrade to have indoor toilet in the yurt now here we have porch which can be converted into queen size bed some shelf wood a lot of wood fire stove for heating the place with a lot of board games and other activities there is even gas propane gas heating system and nice table the key feature i believe is this mezzanine bed from this bed you can enjoy the views from this window beautiful setup and it's all operated with the solar power they have those two solar panels it's more than enough for this yurt on our way to this yurt we were hit by heavy rain this is not how we imagined the beginning of this adventure but we always trust mother nature we should be fine i hope find the exact location of the yurt but luckily we met this guy and he gladly helped us Apparently, what we experienced on the way was just the beginning. Finally, the storm is over and we can peacefully continue our evening.
internal functions will convert and store that energy in capacitor-like reservoirs, but the inside wheel will only unlock and spin freely once there's enough reserve. And this is true breakfast of the champion. Looks like our attempt to hike today comes to an end. We need to go this direction, but there is a river which we cannot cross. I don't know, a lot of mosquito stones of mosquitoes biting us. So what do you think? About cool. What do you think? Can we continue? No. We can try. We can no. try to find another way? No. Yeah, no. we can. No. No. Let's try. Protect yourself and your loved ones. <laughs> so one one trail goes to the left. I think it's a red one. And we are going this way. Okay, again, a few meters to the marking, but, but, how can we walk there? No idea. After heavy bush walking, we cross the river. <laughs> oh, lake, I don't know what it is. Creek. Creek. Swamp. 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 Let's go. For those brave who can get to this point, exactly. they can have everything. So, cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> nice cheers, cheers yeah. and and beautiful views. And barbecue and oh, wow. and very beautiful view on the lake. What's the name of the lake? What is the name of this lake? Uh, one minute. I don't know. No name. No <laughs> name. So where did we get? What what the name of this lake? According our topper. According. 
Our topper map. <laughs> According to our topper map, this is Lac du Dumier. Lac du Dumier. If I'm not mistaken. <coughs> okay, what's the name of this lake? According to our topper map, <laughs> this is Lac du Damier. Lac du Damier. Exactly. The second night was very cold and we had a chance to heat the yurt with the fire stove. On the way back we stopped in the park of the Seven Falls. This park was on my list for too long. We had to visit it and I'm happy we did.
Because we didn't have time, we decided to hike the Michael Sokolik Trail, which is considered to be an easy hike. Michael Sokolik is a photographer, nature specialist and author. He has devoted more than 55 years to photographing the nature of Quebec. He is also from a family of Ukrainian origin, so it was an obvious choice for us. In my opinion, this is the park which must be visited. I'm absolutely confident we will be back here again. As for today, we need to drive back home. But I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon, in the next video.